Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kartika Naya and you're watching Synchro Shakti. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Today we're talking about money. Money is the easiest thing to attract purely because money does not have free will, but you have free will. So you can pull it into your experience just by you getting in alignment with the vibration of the abundance of money. Most people are in alignment with the vibration of the lack of money. Even though they're asking for a lot of money, their vibration is in the lack of it. How do you know if your vibration is in the lack of money? Because of the way you feel when you pay your bills, the way you feel when money is not arriving in your business account, the way you feel when you talk about money, the way you feel when you think about money. This is what shows you whether you are in alignment to the abundance of it, to the fun of it, to the joy of it. You don't have to wait for it to happen outside. You have to create that inside first. Or you could be in the, in the alignment with the lack of it. Your alignment is what determines what you attract. It was, I think, um, Dan Pena, CNN. He said that when without, practice within. I find that fascinating because even in the spiritual laws of creation, when you're in the state of the unknown, right, where you have no idea how things are going to show up, where you, where you are not seeing the results instantaneously, that's the most fun, joyful place to be in because when, when it's, that's the creation moment, right? These are the days where you're creating. So when you don't see the results on the outside, that's the exciting time where you go inside and start practicing the feeling of having all that abundance, not just visualizing yourself, you know, in a beautiful, pool and beautiful Bavarian mountains and enjoying yourself, but also feeling the joy that comes from seeing that, from feeling that, right? That feeling is what attracts. That feeling is the vibrational alignment to the abundance or something, right? So there are two ways in which you can bring yourself into vibrational alignment. The first one is take a sheet of paper and then write out what, you know, what do you want, which is financial abundance, right? What does financial abundance look like? So write out everything. It looks like so much in the business account. I'm traveling. I'm wearing these clothes. I am talking to these people. I have a financial advisory board with me. I have a personal lawyer. I have, uh, I have my own team. I have whatever it looks like to have that financial abundance. And you know, even if it just, even if you're making stuff up, like I'm sleeping in a tub full of gold coins. You know, it's, it's totally up to you how you. It's not opulence. It's just totally about how you can feel the feelings, right? So you make a list of what it looks like. Then make a list of what it feels like. So what does it feel like to have this amazing team of financial advisors in your life? What does it feel like to have all this money coming in on autopilot? What is, I mean, how excited do you feel? How grateful do you feel? How confident do you feel? How supported do you feel? These feelings is what attracts money. Spending time throughout the day, not I mean, be present when you're practicing mindfulness, you cannot fall into a negative pattern because you'll be able to witness it and release it. That brings you into the present moment, which is the most powerful place of creation on every possible universe there is, right? The present. When you can bring yourself into the present moment and practice non-judgment, non-resistance, which is mindfulness, you get yourself in the flow state. When you're in the flow state, what you're manifesting will come to you very quickly. Then when you're in resistance, judgment to other things in your life, maybe not money, but other things in your life. So practicing mindfulness puts you in the flow state, which allows the money to come in, allows the health to come in. Health, robust health is your natural state. Abundance is your natural state. It's just that you're living unmindfully. So your mind is getting in the way of the natural things coming to you. By the way, for those of you interested in studying mindfulness and you're not sure what it is, I'm doing a webinar on Sunday. So the 20th of this month, okay, 2019, October 20th, there's a free webinar happening at 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Register for it. It's in the description box where we'll be talking about mindfulness. Okay, so if you're interested, go ahead and join that. It's a very essential skill to keep you, you know, you'd be surprised. So my field is mindfulness, but every time I open anybody's book or, or anything that has to do with law of attraction and creation, everybody comes back down to the present moment, comes back down to openness of energy, 
all of this is in mindfulness, right? So mindfulness then becomes your base of creation. It becomes the platform from which you create. So it's very powerful. Don't underestimate it. Register for the webinar. Now, you can, when you're making this list, okay, what it looks like, what it feels like, then make a list of why do you deserve this? Why is it possible for it to have come into your life? Keep making lists. It's possible because so many people in my field are millionaires and I'm, I'm, it's just a matter of time before I become one. Or, you know, X, Y, Z. Just bring in ideas and thoughts that put you in alignment to what you're asking for. These thoughts, these things that you write down, reasons why you deserve it, reasons why you believe it's possible, um, reasons why it's gonna, why it's easy to attract it. Anything and everything that you can pull up should feel good to you. When it feels good, you're in alignment with the abundance of money. That's how money comes because it has no free will. You can will it into your existence when you call to it. If you call to the abundance of it, okay, it's very easy to do that. You can take 30 minutes after this video to just sit and do that and get into alignment. The second thing you can do is from the book called Money and the Law of Attraction by Jerry and Esther Hicks. Uh, it's in the description of the book if you want to buy it. In that book, uh, there's an exercise where you put a hundred dollars in your wallet, or you can even put, you know, let's say you're in, in India, a two thousand rupee note in your wallet. You can even just put it in your e-wallet or whatever. Okay, this is my interpretation of it. Now, every time you see something you like, mentally imagine that you can afford that and you can buy that uh, because you have this money stashed up. Okay, you have this hundred dollars or two thousand rupees, for example, stashed up here. Now. Every time you notice something you like, you say, hey, I can afford that. So imagine yourself buying it. Now, it's not that you're spending all this money. It is that you're getting into the vibration of, I can afford all this. I can afford all this. Wow, I have all this money that I can use. So essentially what you're doing is you're spending that 2000 rupees a hundred times. Okay, let's say 10 times a day. You then have spent 20,000 rupees energetically, not spent, but gotten to the vibration of I can afford stuff worth 20,000 rupees. So now you have gone from I only have 2,000 rupees to wow, I'm in the energy of 20,000 rupees that I can easily afford all these things, right? And then the next day, 10, another 10, and then the next day, another 10. So by the end of the week, you spent energetically, you're in the vibration of I have two lakh rupees or whatever is your currency, wherever you're wa watching this from, you get into the vibration or the alignment with the abundance. So I have so much money, I can spend on this and this and this and this and this. So it's not about the spending part. It's about the vibration of abundance, right? Now, money doesn't cause happiness and poverty doesn't cause happiness. Happiness is a state of being that is inherent to you. When you practice mindfulness, this will come very naturally to you. From that happiness comes creation. You don't create the outside perspective first to make you happy because that's not law of attraction. Law of attraction is you're happy now and that's what attracts more things to add to the natural sense of happiness. So contentment is a cake and everything else is a cherry on the cake. That's what makes a good life, okay? Money without happiness, you know, money without health, all of that is, is, is not important. Happiness comes first, okay? So having said all of that, get yourself into feeling good. Take time out, do these exercises. Let me know in the comment section whether that helped you put you in the vibration of the abundance of what you're asking for. And uh, let me know if it's valuable. Again, one more time, the mindfulness webinar, we're having one every month, but this month is happening 20th, which is Sunday, 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time. I look forward to seeing you there. Mindfulness webinar is going to be totally phenomenal for you. For those of you who are really interested in walking the path of least resistance and clear, easy energy, happiness, right? Joy. And from there, create. It's a very powerful place to be. And if you're interested, register for the webinar down below and I will see you there. So this is all about money. Get yourself in alignment with the abundance and then there will be no limit to what you can create. I love you all and I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste. Mm-hmm.